In 2002, the British government and the Wellcome Trust signed a joint venture agreement, and Diamond Light Source was created, a private limited company to build and operate the new national synchrotron. The government has a responsibility for funding research in the UK and within that portfolio a big investment in medical research and biomedical research. Government has provided 86% of the funding complemented by the Wellcome Trust, the world's largest biomedical charity. The mission of the Wellcome Trust is to foster and promote research with the aim of improving human and animal health. Um, and in order for us to do that, we need to ensure that the scientists that we fund have access to the best possible infrastructure to do their experiments. An important part of research at Diamond will be into the structure of diseases and how medicines can be improved to tackle them more effectively. Beyond its impact on medical research, this new facility will boost scientific knowledge in many other fields, including physics, food science, the environment, engineering and forensic research. A key feature of the facility is that it seeks to study the very small to understand the very large, from nanotechnology to earth and planetary science. Yes, the main satisfying aspect of uh, building diamond is seeing it all come together. Firstly, seeing the building emerge uh, out of the ground and then installing the, the machine and then seeing it work. Over two million man-hours have gone into construction of the building using over 2,000 tons of steel and 35,000 cubic meters of concrete. The floor area is 45,000 square meters with room inside to park eight jumbo jets. Since 2002, the Diamond team has grown from just a handful of staff to over 300. Scientists and engineers have come from across the world and many local specialists have been attracted here by the scientific potential and the unique working environment. One thing which makes a synchrotron like Diamond so special is that researchers can work simultaneously all around the building on different experiments. Users are going to come here for the beam lines, of course, but in addition, other facilities will be available while users are here at Diamond. There will be laboratories for each beamline, there will be office av available, there will be computers. And uh, in addition, and very importantly, there will be a lot of specialists here. All beamlines have scientific staff that will help users during their time here at Diamond, help them conduct their experiments, give advice and interact with the users. It's also important to be aware that using the synchrotron is not an isolated event. It's an integrated part of, of a huge scientific process. The first phase of the Diamond Synchrotron has seven experimental stations and more will continually be added so that by 2011 there'll be a total of 22 around the ring, covering a range of different scientific techniques. However, Diamond has room for about 40 stations, plenty of room for more visionary science. <laughs> 